Hey everyone, it's me Tim from FTA Adventures and today I'm going to talk about five tips and tricks for solo motorcycle camping. Stick around. Tip number one is to plan ahead. Check out where you're going to be camping. Make sure that you're going to be comfortable there. You're going to have everything you need. Does it have a bathroom? Does it have other people around? And you want to check the weather. Make sure that you're not setting yourself up for failure. And just do your research in general. Make sure that you're well prepared and things will go a lot smoother with a little bit of planning ahead. Also make a checklist of your supplies that you're going to need so that you don't forget anything. Tip number two is to set up camp during the daylight hours. I am guilty of not doing this. Many, many times I have set up in the dark. It is really no fun, especially if you're new to camping alone. This will allow you to pick the best spot and it's also just a lot less complicated to set up in the daylight. This gives you enough time to get set up and organized before the sun sets. You can get your campfire ready get your food ready and get everything set up. And it'll be much easier doing all of that in the daylight hours. Tip number three is to inform someone of your plan. Somebody that cares about you that's at home, let them know where you're gonna be, how long you're gonna be gone. Give them an idea of your itinerary of when you think you'll be in certain areas if you're traveling. Uh, if you're just going to camp in one spot, just let them know where, where you are. And maybe check in every once in a while. Uh, like every day, at least once a day, check in and say, hey, this is where I am, this is where I'm heading. I'll talk to you tomorrow at this time. Two things. One, it's definitely going to make you safer because if something does go wrong, somebody knows and knows where to look for you. But also this is going to give you a lot of peace of mind when camping alone. Once the sun goes down and you start feeling really alone, it's nice to know that somebody at least knows where you are and that you've touched base with them. The next tip is to take safety precautions. In other words, learn your basic survival skills and carry necessary safety items, including a first aid kit, satellite communicator, a map and a knife. Also be mindful of your surroundings and avoid risky behavior. When you're camping alone and you're traveling alone, you really wanna make sure that you keep it within your skill level. Don't be doing things that you're not comfortable with. Save that stuff for when you're with a group and you wanna do like really challenging off-road stuff, take a buddy with you. Uh, if you're going by yourself, keep it simple and keep it easy and make sure that you can handle everything you're putting yourself through uh, before you set off. The next tip is to be mindful of wildlife. Research the local wildlife where you're gonna be, understand how to coexist with them, and store your food securely away from your campsite to avoid attracting animals and causing any conflicts. This is especially true if you're camping in bear country. Uh, you really wanna make sure that you store your food correctly, keep it away from your campsite, hang it up in a tree. If you don't know how to hang a bear bag, do some research on YouTube on how to do that. It's, it's gonna just keep you a lot safer and also give you some peace of mind knowing that if a bear comes around, it's not gonna be in your tent looking for food. It's gonna be over away from your campsite where you set up your bear bag and it's not gonna be able to get to it anyway if you hang it correctly. The next tip is to leave no trace. Leave everything the way that you found it, if not better. I even sometimes pick up some trash around the campsite if I notice that there's stuff on the ground. I'll clean up a little bit and just make it nicer for the next person. I really can't stand when people throw trash on the ground at a campsite. Uh, it's just so disrespectful. So make sure you're not doing that and don't be afraid to clean up a little bit if it is a mess. It's just important that we minimize our impact on the environment around us and keep everything nice for generations to come. The next tip is to enjoy your experience. Solo camping offers a unique opportunity for self-reflection and solitude in nature. Embrace the serenity, listen to the sounds of nature, disconnect from technology, and savor the tranquility. This is supposed to be a fun endeavor. If you're not having fun, you're doing something wrong. Camping alone is a great opportunity to clear your mind and get a little much needed R&R. &R. So definitely enjoy the experience. You're out there to have fun, so make sure that you're comfortable, you have everything you need, and that you're actually enjoying yourself. Otherwise, you might as well go home and try again another time. Anyways, those are my tips and tricks for solo camping. I hope you guys got something out of this video. Don't forget to leave a comment. I will be in the comment section all weekend replying to you guys. Also, my course, The Fundamentals of Motorcycle Mechanics, is officially available. Make sure you check that out before October 14th. You'll be able to save $20 off of enrollment. I'll leave a link down below to the course in case you guys want to check it out. Anyways, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Ride safe.